cheering for the horse who ran him down. It's time for the load note. Now time to go up to Dave Johnson. And Strode's Creek is in, as is uh, now the entry mate, numerous, coupled because Charlie w Winningham trains them both. But uh, post positions were drawn by lot. These are all three-year-olds, all Colts, all carry 122 pounds, a mile and an eighth. That's an eighth of a mile shorter than the Kentucky Derby. And Robinair, the lone cowbred, moves into line. We're ready for the start. Six of them going a mile and an eighth. Fast track. And they're off. And Bronco away alertly toward the inside, along with Tabasco Cat. But in the middle of the track, as expected, flying Jay Bryan in the pink colors, takes command and draws off quickly by a length of three quarters. But now Tabasco Cat is in pursuit from the second spot. Bronco, the favorite, races third. Then the Whittingham entry of Strode's Creek on the inside. Numerous is next. And the longest shot on the board, Robin Air, is sixth and last, about nine lengths from the leader. And alone on the front end, flying Jay Bryan with Pat Valenzuela shows the way by four and a half, now five lengths. With Tabasco Cat in the second spot by the same margin, then comes Bronco in the blue colors and the black cap, racing third, about six and a half off the leader at this point. On the inside, it's Strode's Creek, then comes Numerous and Robin Air. As they move down the back stretch, after a half in 45 and 47 one hundreds, Flying Jay Bryan shortening stride just a bit as Tabasco Cat takes up the chase in the second spot, and Bronco is right there third. On the outside, Strode's Creek, and Numerous is now charging through along the inside, and Robin Air is the trailer. But around the far turn, it's still Flying Jay Bryan who's led every step of the way, but Tabasco Cat on the outside is right there, and now Bronco kicks in. Three wide and moving up. 110 and 41 one hundredths. And a Strode Creek, the big horse who didn't race as a two-year-old, is coming quickly in the yellow cap on the outside. At the head of the stretch, Tabasco Cat, but Rocco puts a head in front. Tabasco Cat comes back, and down the stretch they come. Rocco on the outside, Tabasco Cat at the rail. They're stride for stride with Strode Creek third. Through the stretch and to the wire of the Santa Anita Derby. Rocco, the winner of the Breeders' Cup Juvenile last year, comes back, wins the Santa Anita Derby by three parts of a length. On the inside, Tabasco Cat with Pat Day with second. There's Cubby Broccoli, there's Jeff Lucas, and with that showing today, uh, don't forget that Tabasco Cat could certainly make a trip to Louisville for the Derby. Our coverage of the Santa Anita Derby here on Wide World of Sports continues after this brief timeout. Here are the prices. Brocco, the winner, paid 340, 240, and 220. Tabasco Cat, 260 and 220. Strode's Creek, 220. And the exacta of Brocco and Tabasco Cat, a very modest $7.40. Let's go back up to Dave Johnson now for what he considered to be the key to victory today. Dave? Boy, as they moved around the far turn, it looked like anybody could win this race. On the inside, the front runner flying, Jay Bryan, looked like he might have something left. But then Tabasco Cat goes to the front. Between horses there in the blue noseband, here comes Brocco. Uh, with all the courage of James Bond and uh, Gary Stevens now winning his Santa Anita Derby for the fourth time, adding winning colors and Mr. Frisky and personal hope. But watch the courage here as Brocco digs in. Tabasco Cat ran a big race finishing second, but the favorites who've done well in this race uh, for the past uh, 57 runnings did well again today. And with one month's rest, this horse is going to be tough, tough in the run for the roses but this afternoon he wins the santa anita derby by three parts of a lane charlesy finishing second very narrowly beaten was pat day aboard brocco and the only time tabasco cat has been beaten going a distance of ground it's against brocco this time the margin was a little closer well he made a horse race out of it this little colt's really coming at the right time he done everything right today we didn't get away real clean we bounced a little bit hooked up with brocco First couple of jumps, which kind of got him up on the bit, but he settled nicely once we got in the turn. At, laid back off of the horse, you know, and and, and a big and a big race from Tabasco Cat Pat. Thank you very much, and we'll go back to Jim McKay. Bye. Okay, here we are with jockey Gary Stevens and trainer Randy Winnick at age 44. You first sat in the Derby. Your dad was in the business so long before you. Must be a family thrill. Oh, it's a thrill. I, I thank everybody, Dad on down the line, all the people that helped me get here, and it was just a great thrill and great ride by Gary, and I had a good experienced rider here. He's won three of these before, so it really helped, but uh, it was a good team effort, and I couldn't be more, more happy with it turned out. When will you take him to Kentucky? Uh, Jim, we'll see how he comes out of the race, obviously, and eats up and everything, but I'd say in about a week, eight days, something like that. 
Gary, let's take a look at the stretch drive here. Right. Pretty good race coming down. The yeah, it was a great race. I was just clocking Pat all the way. I felt like he was the horse to beat from the half mile pole. He urged his horse a little bit at the quarter pole, and he didn't give him a whole lot of response. And uh, I got to give the other horse a, a lot of respect because when I came up and eyeballed him, he made a horse race out of it. And my horse, uh, you know, I just put him in a hand ride. He's the type of horse that's going to give you 100% anyway. So uh, he just ran a, had a tremendous stretch run today. The well, winning colors won this race and went on to win the Kentucky Derby under you. Could it happen again? Well, we've had a couple of seconds over the past few years, and I'd love to get back in the winner's circle at Churchill, and I'm riding the right horse to do it, provided he comes out of the race good and everything stays like it is. We can get the job done again. Thanks, Gary. Congratulations to you and Randy. And there is the winning owner. He celebrated his 85th birthday last Tuesday. Albert Cubby Broccoli, producer of all the James Bond movies. He has another one coming up. I think it's the 17th, something like that. And the star of the day is Rocco. There's the trophy, the symbol of victory.